Aisha. Thank you for clicking on today's video. I hope you guys are doing good. So I am back with a makeup tutorial slash get ready with me slash testing out new makeup. I haven't done like a makeup related video in a while. So I figured why not show you guys how to get this really pretty soft glam makeup look. It's flawless. It's given skin. So I'm using tons of new products, by the way, from Makeup by Mario, the Makeup Forever Powder Foundation, the One Size Beauty Viral blood basically a lot of these products are going viral so if you guys want to see if it's actually worth your money then you clicked on the right video so yeah girl if you want to see more makeup related content from me make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up and without further ado relax sit back or even get ready with me grab your makeup and yeah let's get started Okay, so let's get into testing out all these new makeup releases. I just wanted to get ready with you guys, chat, you know, try out some new makeup. Um, and yeah, you guys, I've been doing my hair with like the rollers. I've seen everybody doing it. So basically, that's what I did today. Hopefully, it looks good. I feel like when the makeup is done, everything will like come together. But yeah, I'm going to start by priming my skin. I've been really into moisturizing and like prepping my skin. I feel like I've seen a huge difference when it comes to my makeup routine. So I'm going to start using my eye cream, which is the Believe Moisturizing Eye Balm. So I like to go in with this I like how thin it is, but it's still hydrating. I feel like it really makes my under eyes look really hydrated. My concealer, I feel like doesn't look as dry or cakey. If you're going to be wearing a lot of makeup, even if you're not going to be wearing a lot of makeup, prepping your skin is the most important thing, especially if you have oily skin. And then I like to go in with my Vanny Cream Daily Facial Moisturizer. I got this from Target and I really like it because it's fragrance free and it hasn't irritated my skin. It doesn't feel oily. It just goes on really good with makeup or without makeup. So I apply about that much. And then I'm just gonna do this. This moisturizer, I like to use it in my morning routine. I basically like to have a very easy routine. I don't like a lot of steps or a lot of products. I like to do this first because again, I do have oily skin and I need for it to dry, you know, and soak into my skin. So I like to do this first and then usually I do my eyebrows, but you know, since I like to do my eyebrows off camera, I already did that because every time I do my eyebrows with you guys, they just turn out bad. And hopefully they don't look bad today. If they do, just pretend they don't but anyways guys i'm gonna start with my eyeshadow um so today i'm using the huda beauty matte palette this is the new warm matte obsessions palette if you know me you know i love huda beauty products and i love the obsessions palette i feel like they're the perfect basic go-to palette especially if you're traveling you know you can just take this you can use it to contour your nose you can use it for a lot of different things and it does have a mirror so this one comes with two cream shades and then the reds are matte so you know i just had to get this palette so this is what i'm going to be using today i feel like huda beauty makes makeup for like the girls that like a lot of makeup and that's me so i'm going to start by getting this color right here on palette and i'm gonna be using my morphe brushes the morphe times aerial brushes but i'm also gonna be using my amazon dupe honestly i just use them both they look the same so yeah i'm just gonna be using both of them i will have the link below on my amazon store in case you guys want some good quality brushes that low-key look like the morphe ones but you know for a lot cheaper price so yeah, I'm just basically going to apply this on my crease, going back and forth, kind of creating like a round shape. And I do like to take my time and blend and also bring it towards my nose because when I apply foundation and I contour and everything, it will look very like effortlessly blended. So now with the tinier brush, this is again the same Morphe collab. This is the A29. I'm going to use the same eyeshadow and basically just go right towards the crease you guys see how i'm just intensifying using the same color but i'm just being more specific this time around so now the cool thing about this palette is that it has cream shades so you can create a really quick easy quick quick easy i don't know what i'm saying you can create a quick an easy cut crease so i'm gonna be using the cream shade of this palette this one is my wet and wild brushes that i get from dollar tree i love these brushes if you guys see them definitely pick them out they're really really good 
and I'm just gonna cut my crease. I saw a tutorial like Huda herself did this look and I really liked it. So whatever created. And I am taking the eyeshadow from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. I can hear like the birds singing or talking and that just makes me super happy for spring you guys i thrive in the spring and summertime winter time i'm like down like no i don't even know who i am in the winter time but spring and summer it's like my time to like flourish you know and thrive so now the last thing i'm gonna do is take the brown cream shade and i'm just gonna create a cream liner i honestly feel like this is the perfect beginner friendly eyeshadow palette because the shades are super easy to use like you don't really have to think about it too much Especially if you're trying to get into eyeliner and stuff. I feel like using cream shades or eyeshadow works the best. So yeah, I'm just going to create a little wing here. And then if it doesn't look good, I'll just clean up with concealer. I feel like my eyeliner doesn't look as good. One feels thicker than the other one. But the good thing is that I can always fix it with concealer and stuff. And then I'll just finish off the eye look. But yeah, so far, I really like this palette. I'm just happy to be doing, you know, a full glam. I've been missing to do my makeup. And I've been missing to do makeup tutorials as well. So if you guys want to see more, just let me know. I'm just kind of like very hard with myself. It's not that I'm not filming videos. I film them and then I don't like them and then I don't post them. That's like the thing I'm going through right now. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm going to get better with that. So let me move on to the rest of my face so before i apply lashes to stuff i am gonna do my foundation first and then we'll do the lashes so i'm gonna prep my skin with the glow recipe watermelon glow dew drops everybody talks about them so i wanted to pick them out and i've been using them this is gonna be my fourth time using it and so far i really like it i don't feel like it makes my makeup look any oilier i don't break out and it smells also very good so i apply about that much and then I use this just to make my face more hydrated because I do have eczema and oh my god you guys let me tell you something now look I was going through a really bad eczema flare-up it was all over my forehead which never happened before and then all over my mouth so I noticed that the more I hydrate my skin the better my skin acts so yeah I like to go in with this and then if you're gonna use a mattifying foundation I recommend you can start now to do your foundation but I'm gonna be using a very dewy foundation the makeup by Mario foundation what is this called the surreal skin I'm gonna be using this one so I am gonna prime my skin one more time with the power grip primer I know this is a lot of steps but it makes my makeup look really good so this is the new elf primer the pink one pink reddish color one this I would say compared to the blue one or any other other primer feels a lot like glue so I know this got me for the spring and summertime because that's when my skin gets like really really oily especially summertime um, but yeah this feels like a glue I like to apply like this first to get it like spread it out and then I like to blend it out like this like pretend we're applying foundation you know with the beauty sponge oh speaking about that I forgot to wet my beauty sponge so I'm gonna have to get up I hate when that happens so highly recommend this primer this is another one of my favorite primers that i've been using if you have oily skin you're gonna love this if you have dry skin i feel like this is gonna just emphasize every dry patch on your skin or you know just use it in your oilier parts but i feel like this was made for either normal combination and oily skin so let me go wet my sponge my beauty sponge is wet or not wet it's damp this is the shop me say beauty sponge you can now get them on amazon um as well which i love because you know it's more convenient so like i said i'm gonna be using the new makeup by mario surreal skin foundation i was super scared to buy this because it has shimmer i didn't even know it had shimmer until you have it like very close to you because you cannot see it online but it does have actual like shimmer and like glitter in it but trust me it you cannot see it as much on your skin at least i cannot see it i feel like it makes your skin look very glowy hydrated my shade is in the color 14 o which is a really nice olive shade i love olive undertones i feel like they match me very very well so my foundation twins 
I feel like 14-0 matches so it's very good. So I'm basically gonna be dotting this all over my face. I do like to go in with two layers, like every foundation. I always like to go in with um, two layers, just in case the first layer doesn't look as even, I can even it out with the second layer. So yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out. You can use it with a brush. I like to blend it out with my sponge. I like rarely receive compliments on my foundation but this is like one of the only foundations that i received a compliment she asked me what foundation i was wearing which i feel like tells you something it's a very good everyday foundation you know something that actually looks good in person one thing i do have to say if you have oily skin there's steps we must take for it to last if not it's just gonna fade away very very fast so i'll show you guys the steps i take to make this foundation work for me um, but even though I do all the steps, I feel like in the fifth hour, it does look kind of oily. So, you know, just keep that in mind, depending on why you want this foundation for. If you want something super long wearing, super matte, this one is just not for you. This is what it looks like with two layers on my skin. I am going to apply concealer. I bought a new shade of my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. So usually I use the shade Natural Beige for my eyebrows. And then for my under eye, I got the shade Short Bread. And it's a really nice yellow undertone concealer. I know we're all into the pink undertone, but for me, I like yellow. I still like my yellow undertone. And then I'll set it with the pink setting powder. And I feel like it does look really good. I've seen a lot of people do the whole pink under eye trend. I feel like if that works for you, more than likely you're using the wrong undertone of concealer. Because not everybody's yellow tone, you know. Some people are cool tone. I'm grabbing a brush. And I'm basically just using my concealer to clean up my eyeshadow and also lift up my eye because I feel like my eyes are very like droopy. All right, so now while I wait for this, I am going to apply some cream bronzer. I picked up the new Patrick Ta bronzer in the shade She's Bronze. So this gave me like all the summer vibes. This is what it looks like. It comes with the cream and then the powder. This is again very pretty and like it's model like makeup i feel like the products i'm using today can give you that model like skin so yeah this bronzer it's not super pigmented but it gives you a really nice wash of color so i'm gonna be using my makeup by mario double-sided brush you know i'm not into spending a lot of money when it comes to brushes i just feel like it's not necessary but this brush duo i really like i feel like you can use it not only for foundation you can use it for cream blush even for your concealer it just works for a lot of different things so yeah i would recommend this especially if you can get it on sale definitely get it on sale but yeah i'm just gonna apply this here and try to give myself a little bit of shape you know because i have a very round face but i like to go like this create a line here and then here one thing that I like about using like foundation brushes to contour my face is that it doesn't remove as much product as other brushes would, you know, since it's a little bit denser. So I'm going to take a little bit more foundation, kind of go like this, and blend it out right here. I'm going to add just a little bit more concealer just right here. I do like this part of my face to look a little bit more brighter. So I'm just going to apply little bit more there and then wait for that you know to dry a little bit you can also do it with the brush um and then i'm gonna apply cream blush before i forget because i always forget to apply my cream blush um so i'm using the one size beauty this is called a cheek clapper attention seeker blush trio so basically you could a blush a cream blush a powder blush and then a highlighter I'm not really into highlighter so i'm not going to be using that for today but i am going to be using the cream blush if you guys cannot get your hands on this i would say there is a dupe out there for the powder blush only so the beauty creations in the shade my favorite it's very very similar to the powder blush but the cream blush i don't know yet i need to go through my collection and see maybe i can do like a dupes video if you guys would like to see that from me let me know as well i'll be going in with my real techniques tapered cheek brush and i always like to apply everything in the back of my hand first because this is very very pigmented and then apply it to my face 
you guys see how pretty this color is that's one thing that i like about tiktok is that they put us on to pink blushes looks really pretty on everybody i feel like it brings out everybody's like i don't know features it looks really good so i'm just gonna apply a little bit more here and i am gonna bring it just a little bit higher just so i can blend it in with my concealer okay so now let's set my skin um i do have some powders right here but I'm gonna set my skin first with one powder. This is the Givenchy, Givenchy, Givenchy. I don't know how to say it, but it's this very expensive, pricey brand. Um, the powder is called the Mad Finish Enhanced Radiance Loose Powder. The TikTok girls put me onto this. It's in the shade three. It's a really pretty rosy color, and it's actually worth your money. It doesn't give you flashback. It makes your makeup look flawless. I like how you get basically four different colors, and it just creates a really pretty finish. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in with this and again like i said i like to apply everything on my hand first before i apply it to my face just so i don't look cakey because you know all the makeup that i'm wearing can look cakey really fast and we don't want that okay we want to seem like we woke up like this so i'm going to be going in with my powder puff i got some new ones from amazon look it comes with a big one and then like a small one basically i get about that much apply it in the back of my hand make sure everything's blended and make it even and then I apply it underneath my eye. Honestly, pink setting powder, it's really pretty. I used to not like it, but now I see why people like it. Gives you a really nice brighten up effect. If you're into that Kim K Kylie makeup, you guys know that IG makeup that looks really flawless. This is like the secret to do that and achieve that look. So I'm basically just packing it on my skin and then I'm always going back in, not to the actual powder, but to my hand and applying it on my forehead as well and my eyebrows, just so they look a little bit more natural. I feel like this helps with that. I don't know if you guys can see how my chin is looking like very like wet. This is how the foundation looks like if I don't set it. So this is why I recommend if you have oily skin to do, you know, use different um, powders if you want to make this foundation work for you um, so now i am going to go in with the new makeup forever hd skin matte velvet powders so surprisingly you guys i was very like surprised and blessed to receive a pr package from them which is crazy because i wasn't expecting that so i got three powders from them so i got the shade 2y30 i also got the shade 2n34 and 2n26 i'll show you guys what each looks like so this is 2n26 which is my perfect shade so if you guys are my foundation twins again this one works really good um and then also this is 2y30 i haven't used this shade yet that's what it looks like i feel like they all kind of look the same on the pan so you do want to make sure you go and like swatch them and stuff and then this one is 2 and 34. so i'm gonna go in with the powder puff you can use the sponge i just personally like to use this so you guys see how pigmented this is it's probably the best powder foundation you'll ever try i wasn't expecting to like this as much as i do but you guys talk about matte flawless poreless makeup this will give you that and it actually looks like i don't have pores which is crazy because i have a lot of them so i'm gonna apply this right here and on my nose basically all over my face especially right here the only reason i like to go in with powder foundation is because i do have such textured skin and this is the only thing that actually smooths out my makeup so now let me contour my face once again even though i don't really need to i just like to bronze up my skin i don't know i know i'm extra when it comes to makeup and my steps but you know i like my makeup to look very flawless so i'm just gonna be going in with my patrick top once again this is a very again skin like bronzer very super model skin like finish you know how models always have like perfect skin the perfect like features and stuff yeah this this is what it's giving if you're into a neutral 
bronzer then you will like this if you want something super warm then this one is not for you but i feel like it looks really good if you guys want me to do a drugstore version of this comment below and i got you guys but yeah so far i really love how everything is looking like the eyes everything i just love everything and i noticed the cream shade hasn't like um crease or anything like that so let me go back to my eyes and just finish that and then basically i'm just gonna use the same one eyeshadow color and i'll apply it here i hope they release a more like less warm tone one and a little bit more neutral tone but I love the concept and I love the way it applies and everything. I'm just not really into warm shades like that like I used to. I like a little bit more neutral shades. And then apply some mascara. I'm using my Flower Beauty Warrior, Warrior Mascara. Um, and I've really been liking this. It makes me look like I have actually got lashes. So I'm just going to apply one coat while I wait for that to dry. I'll probably do my blush and then it'll be time to apply lashes. Basically just doing like my final touches before, you know, I move on to the lips. I always like to do my lips last. So let me apply my Beauty Mark once again. I'm using the Tres Luce liner in the shade Tierra. I feel like this is the best like Beauty Mark color. Remember, this palette is super pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. So again, I'm going to grab about that much, back of my hand, and then apply it. Yeah, this is what the skin is looking like. Everything's looking good. Um, my skin still looks like skin. It doesn't feel cakey because all the steps we did, um, but it still looks like, you know, that soft glam makeup look. So... Yeah, that's what it looks like. Let me set my nose a little bit more because the makeup by Mario, no matter what you apply, it's still gonna radiate. It's still gonna look like skin. So now let me apply my lashes. I was gonna use the ones I always wear, but I think I'm just gonna use my Amazon ones that I have. So I do not know the exact name, but I'll have them linked in my Amazon storefront because they have like a lot of different ones. This one's right here, I love. They give me that bright, wide-eyed look that I love, like that wispy look. So yeah, I'm gonna be going in with this ones. I do trim them. Make sure you do because if not, it's gonna poke your eye. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply my lashes. I feel like these are such a good Amazon find. You get tons of them. They're really affordable. You can use them in your glam days, your neutral, you know, everyday go-to looks. But yeah, I love these lashes. So I'm going to wait for them just to dry a little bit more just in case I have to like pinch them because I always like to pinch my lashes just to blend them in with my regular ones. So let me do my lip combo. So I am going to go in with my one size beauty lip liner. It, this is called the Lip Snatcher in the shade Rent Do. So I'm going in with this. Kind of reminds me of MAC lip liners for a lot more affordable because it's only $14. So yeah, I'm going to apply this. I feel like this color, it's a very good warm golden color. They're blendable, but not too creamy. Like they're a very good lip liner. All right. Okay, and then for lip combo today, I'm gonna be going in with my Huda Beauty lipstick. This is the cream lipstick in the shade Impress. And then you guys know I'm extra, so I'm also gonna go in with the tiniest amount of my Sephora lip stain in the shade at 32. This goes with everything, like everybody needs this in their collection. So yeah, girl, this is basically the final look right here. Let me fix my hair, add some perfume. And yeah, for my hair, I'm gonna be using the Kenra Silkening Gloss. I love using this for the ends of my hair because it's gotten super long. And you know, if you have long hair, you can get really dry really quick. So yeah, I'm going to be going in with that and then applying my perfume, even though I am going absolutely nowhere. But you know what? 
I'm doing it for myself. Okay, so this is the final look right here. This is the look. If you can only get one thing from this video, I would say get the Makeup Forever powder. I feel like you can use it with your other makeup products and it's gonna enhance them. But yeah, I really like everything. I feel like my makeup looks very flawless. I miss doing like my full coverage glam and this lashes, the lip combo. I just love everything. Um, by the way, fragrance of the day, I'm using my favorite. If I'm like a perfume, if I could be one perfume, I will be this one. This is my favorite scent and you can get it now at Ulta. So I will have it linked below for you guys. If you guys want to be scent twins with me. I don't mind sharing you guys. I want everybody to smell like that girl. So yeah, highly recommend that perfume. I did apply my EOS um, body cream, the vanilla cashmere one. So I smell like vanilla. I you know love my makeup, my hair. I feel very glam. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing good, staying safe. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.